How was the Dallas popping was cracking its D-Boss reacted to this vid uh, It's titled Why Drake just admitted the Kendrick beef destroyed his career Damn So he's coming out and being honest I respect the honesty um, <laughs> I don't think it destroyed his career I still don't see a world um, In which Drake is irrelevant And he completely falls off I feel like he's too big of an artist for that But I do feel like it has definitely had a negative effect on his career um, but you know, he may be able to bounce back. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, let's see how he admitted it and what he had to say. Let's watch. Now, for the first time in a while, we have heard from Drake, and this time around, not through his petty antics on social media or through his questionable personal decisions, but this time around, he made an appearance at an event called Nostalgia right in his home city of Toronto. And now, following in Drake's plan of trying to win people's respect back by actually being a part of his city's music and cultural circuit, Drake popped out of this event and played through some of his hits and even played 50 Cent's Many Men on stage to try and make himself seem like this martyr figure and victim to everything that happened in hip hop this year. And now, as Drake was on stage trying to move the crowd and trying to convince his city that he is still the guy who's going to be pushing hip hop and their music scene forward. He went on a rant and said this. I'm gonna tell you one thing about my soldier. I'm gonna tell you one thing about my soldier this party here. My real friends are definitely in the building. But I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna talk to a friend in life. The people you thought were friends, the people you thought were close to you, they might switch up. They might try to go find you. No niggas is trying to turn motivational speaking. Listen, um, you bought this on yourself because <laughs> you couldn't stop fucking niggas bitches. Okay, let's be clear. That's why a lot of people turned on you. Okay, that's that's the narrative. That's the common sentiment that we kept seeing is that you keep sleeping with these men's women. <laughs> All right, that's the problem, Drake. Okay, so now you the victim. Oh, people switching up on you and people stab you in the back. How many backs have you stabbed, brother? By slipping your peen and, and they're women. From Drake. There are Take multiple things to pick apart here. And now, first off, after months of acting, like what went down between him and Kendrick Lamar didn't happen. And him trying to release music like everything was just normal. We are seeing firsthand that Drake is still caught up on this beef. And that he is still trying to instigate things and redefine a narrative. Which beyond social media screens or sneak disses on 100 gigs tracks. With Drake sticking out his chest and speaking loud about the after effects of this beef and showing us that this is still something that is very fresh and on the top of his mind. There is no question or no way that you can spin it. Drake is definitively still caught up on the masterclass in battle that Kendrick Lamar pulled off against him. And he is still trying to find some sort of way to cope with the reality of what happened. And as we are seeing him stand out in public and make an emotional and bitter speech to a crowd where we can see his unfiltered <laughs> thoughts and feelings speech. firsthand, there is no longer any doubt remaining that despite whatever forms of gaslighting Drake has tried to pull off for months Ooh. over and over again, that he knows just like the rest of us do, that he lost the Kendrick Lamar beef in a way that he never has in a feud before, nor have most other rappers ever for that matter. And now before we can really look at the rest of the pieces that show us that with the timer getting lower and lower, Drake's letting this loss get further and further to him and he is just looking more desperate as a result. What's also important to note is that with the timing of this event and him giving this little speech to people which is disguised as a piece of advice which is really just an actual cry for help and admission of defeat from his end, is that Drake is not just showing how much Kendrick Lamar has broken him and changed his demeanor from being one of the most cocky and wrongfully overconfident rappers out to one of the most pathetic ones. But also in this, he is throwing shade at more rappers than just Kendrick and the events that went down between them. Because as Drake just unfollowed a ton of people on social media leading up to this, this message especially seems to be targeted to people like Jay Cole, who after being so close with Drake last year has Drake. Yeah, I saw somebody posted that. I think it was academics. <laughs> Somebody posted that uh, he unfollowed LeBron um, and some other people. But LeBron stuck out to me a lot because I was like, oh, not you having his, his face tatted on you. Or is it his number? He has something associated with LeBron tatted on him, and now you mad at him. 
because he went to the concert and you you unfollowed him on Instagram. Ripped it apart from him, and now despite Drake making fun of Cole since his back and forth with Kendrick was going on, Drake is only seeming to try and flip this narrative that he is the victim and that Cole is the one who wronged him now. As Cole has been doing features with rappers who directly have beef with Drake, which seems like a direct response to Drake disrespecting him so willingly on some of the biggest tracks this year has seen in the first place. And now another target of this also seems to be Lil Yachty, who after being closer to Drake than arguably any other oh, rapper in the industry has been, seemed to have some differences this summer caused by Yachty saying that Not Like Us was a banger, and then by Drake yeah. releasing a song that he and Yachty did that was not clear due to an ethical issue with the artist who they were sampling on it. And with Drake and Yachty, this is really a surreal moment, because if the guy who helped Drake make the best and most viral moments on albums like Her Loss and For All The Dogs is no longer working alongside him, it is really showing just how far the effects of this entire moment in time and the effects of Drake's crash out have really gone and also witnessed. Drake seems to be taking a dig at LeBron James, who after having such a close friendship with for years, with LeBron showing so much support for Kendrick Lamar and so much love for a record and not like us. Drake also seems to be done with him, which is pretty awkward considering that Drake has a tattoo of LeBron on him. Yeah, and also, is. and it's most so hurtful body, for man. Drake, this also seems to be directed at Future, as after Future released another project this year and has shown the world in remorseless fashion that he does not need Drake to be great, and on that's top of ass. that, that he will no longer even <laughs> give him the like light of day to entertain right? working with him going forward. Drake seems to be really hurt by the fact that he will no longer be able to work with the guy who he has enjoyed more success with than any other MC who he has beef with as of recent and now from Drake's Two perspective once well. again he is showing how sad and manipulative he can be as a person because he is attempting to gaslight people into yeah. trying to believe that he was innocent and yeah. the victim of what went down and yeah. that all of these rappers who have shown that they were quote unquote fake friends to him betrayed him but meanwhile in actuality in almost every situation we can call it was the exact other way around because Drake was the one who dissed J. Cole on his Kendrick Lamar diss tracks and Drake was the one who released music that Lil Yachty felt uncomfortable showing to the public for reasons that go way deeper than music. And on top of that, Drake was the one dissing Future on a track all for all the dogs like what would Pluto do? And so with all of these friendships that Drake has lost, when you just take a little time to actually read the room and see what's happened, he is really the one responsible for their demise. But now looking at the rest of what is becoming another pathetic moment for Drake, and in a month like October where it has been prophesized that this would be the time where Drake would take Rhett back by his delusional fans, right now where it matters more than ever, instead of teasing that new breakout song that is going to shift the narrative, especially when your rival just submitted the song that has destroyed your career for a Grammy, he is teasing new clothes on social media, which may garner him some light, <laughs> but he's not going to do anything nobody. to address the actual problem around his career. And even with an appearance at this event, while it's great that Drake is finally tapping back into his city's music scene, he can rant about rappers he is no longer on good terms with and play old hits of his and other songs that are trying to paint this message across that he is a martyr all he wants. But at the end of it all, if Drake was serious about taking rap back or trying to shift a narrative, he would be doing the one thing that actually matters and that can actually shift attention and redefine legacies, which is to drop actual music. Hello. Now, as Drake preview nothing here, I mean, this would otherwise been, be have the perfect moment to unite his city for whatever is to come next in his career with them fully behind him. I mean, how could you not see that more than ever, all of this is showing that those 100 gigs drops may have been the best place he had, and that now, there is nothing left in the tub for him to go to, and now with failure after failure of records and moments like these that are showing that Drake is still caught up on this beat and trying to change the outcome of what happened, merely by just twisting his own words instead of actually trying to do something musically, when almost every single other rapper in this beat has just been elevating and expanding on their craft in some shape or form in the months that have followed everything that went down. Now, all in all, it has never been more clear that Drake knows he lost this thing and that it has forever altered his career. And now as we wait in this time where Drake's back is being pushed closer and closer to the wall, yet all he is doing is whining about the outcome of what happened. This is all just getting sad to even fathom. And if we don't get any new music from him in the coming weeks, that can actually even just be a moderate success. It's looking like Kendrick Lamar's work with him will officially be over, as the guy who used to live on the charts and dominate everything statistically will be more creatively bankrupt than he has ever been. And so now with all of this said, let me know. What do you think? I mean, I don't think this is him admitting that his career was destroyed. <laughs> He hasn't admitted anything. He's not even taken uh, blame for, you know, his part in these sour relationships, okay? These relationships that have turned sour. It's 
is why so many people have turned against him because he was on some shady shit. Shady business practices, shady, you know, uh, with his personal relationships, violating bro code. He was just being shady and he not, you know, owning up to that. He's playing victim. So that's crazy that he would say all of that. But sure, I guess. Uh, but yeah, we'll see if he releases music this month. I feel like it's only right. He's October's own, you know? <laughs> And this is the the time of the Scorpio. You you gotta you gotta pop out and do something because the few little songs he's been dropping, they haven't really been you know getting any traction. People haven't really been talking about him like that. So he needs to keep trying. Like give give us something. I'm gonna listen because I, I still listen to Drake. Okay, I really like Housekeeping and Blue Green Red. I, I listen to those songs so. I'm open to some new music, but yeah, we'll see what he does. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.